Hey, Sarah, I have something to ask you. I'm wondering if you and my brother can leave our parents' house as soon as possible. I want you to leave, preferably right now. Hello, Ciara. I'm not quite sure what you're asking me to do. Do you want me and Ven to leave our parents' house? Why is that? I mean exactly what I just said. I'm actually pregnant right now. I plan to spend my pregnancy in a place where I feel comfortable and with people I can rely on. You're pregnant? I didn't know that. Congratulations. I'm really happy for you. Thank you so much. I was planning to stay here during my pregnancy, but my husband suddenly had to go on a long business trip. I don't really have many friends or people I can trust in this town. I think I'll be much more comfortable spending my pregnancy time at home with my parents. I'm sure that's true. I definitely think you should be with people you can trust during your pregnancy. Staying with your parents is a good choice. You agree with me, right? I'm so glad we're on the same page. I'm sorry for you living at my parents' place, but could you move out? I also plan to stay there for a few months after giving birth. Until I leave the house again, I want you to go. I'm about to go through the challenging stage of pregnancy, so you and Ven need to leave the house. You've been married for a while now, so it's time to find a place of your own. I'm still a bit confused. It's great that you want to be home during your pregnancy, but why are you trying to kick us out of the house? I think it would be better for you to have more adults around who can help and support you. Both me and Ven would be willing to help you whenever you need us. I've been told that I'm a very caring person. I'm sure I can be of assistance to you during your pregnancy. It's just fine without you and Ven. I won't need either of your help. There's no way I'm letting you or Ven near me or my baby once it's born. Why is that? I don't understand your intention. You both are dirty and unhygienic. How can I risk the health of my precious child being around you? I really don't want any of you to help me. In fact, I don't want you near me. What did you just say about us? Do you think we're dirty and unhygienic? Are you referring to me and Ven? Who else would I be talking about? Don't act foolishly anymore. Mom said both you and Ven still work at the factory. Well, that's true. Do you have a problem with that? Of course I have a problem with that. I think it's disgusting. Don't you spend the whole day in sweaty and dirty uniforms making things? I think you're exaggerating things a bit. Just thinking about your working conditions makes me sick. It must be a perfect breeding ground for bacteria and contamination. There's no way I'll let dirty people like you near me or my baby once it's born. Honestly, I don't want you touching anything in the house either. You're really blowing things out of proportion, you know? Both me and Ven work at a factory, but it's not unhygienic at all. We take care of our hygiene at home too. We make sure to shower every day and keep our living space clean. I think you don't understand what it's like to work at a factory these days. I apologize if I offended you by stating the truth. Don't be so angry. What did you just say? I don't need your excuses. I just need you and Ven to leave my parents' house. Even my parents said it's okay for you to leave. You and Ven don't get to choose whether you stay or not. Hold on before you get too worked up. Did your parents really agree to kick us out? Are they siding with you on all of this? Of course they did. I've always been their favorite child. They listen to a lot of things I ask because I'm their proudest child. They told me they don't care if I kick you and Ven out of the house. What's gotten into all of you? I can't believe you think it's okay to suddenly kick us out of the house. Believe it or not, it's happening. Now can you hurry up and find a new place to stay? I want to go home as soon as possible. Hey, sweetheart. I'm sorry for texting you while you're at work, but we need to talk about something important. Go ahead. What's on your mind? I think you deserve a break today, and we should go see a movie. Going to the movies sounds great, and I've had a pretty good day until Sierra contacted me. Sierra reached out to you? That's unusual. What's going on? Did you know that she's pregnant right now? She told me that she plans to move back home during her pregnancy. What? Are you serious? I had no idea about that. She never mentioned anything to me. I'm happy for her. I hope she's doing well. It would be great if she comes back home and we can all support her throughout the pregnancy. Let's think about what we can do to make things as comfortable as possible. That's what I thought too. I would be more than happy to help her, but then she told me something else. She wants both you and me to move out of the house. 
She doesn't want us around when she returns home. She wants us to leave? Why? The house is quite spacious. She believes that we are dirty and unhygienic factory workers, in her words. Once she has her baby, she doesn't want us near her child. Did she really say that? She genuinely thinks that factory workers like us are unclean and unsanitary. What's gotten into her? Is she looking down on us just because we both work at a factory? I think she has a rather negative view of factory workers. I can't believe that. You don't need to worry about any of this. Just enjoy the rest of your day off. I'll talk to Kiara about this after I finish work. I'll let her know that we won't be moving out and that we don't care if she feels that way. Then, the problem is that your parents agreed with Kira's request. My parents agreed to this ridiculous idea? I really don't want to continue living with your parents if they don't want us there. Let's find a new place for just the two of us. This could be a great opportunity for us to move out and start the next phase of our lives together. I'm sorry about my family, Sarah. I almost forgot about it, but my parents always listened to whatever Kira said. She has been their favorite child until now, and they always side with her. Even when Sierra and I fight, I'm always the one getting punished. I had no idea about that. I've been living with you and your parents for a while, and I've never noticed anything like that. It's not been so obvious since she got married and moved away. In fact, they've been pretty kind to me ever since. I guess they finally decided to show some love for me when I was the only one left around. It made me feel quite happy to know that they finally cared about me. But I guess some things haven't really changed. Sierra is still the favorite child. I'm quite fed up with all of them. You're right. Let's find a new place for just the two of us. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. What shocked me the most is how she belittled both of us for working at a factory. We genuinely enjoy our current jobs and take pride in what we do. I completely agree with you. I can't believe she said that. We just decided to live with my parents because they begged us to stay. If they don't want us around anymore, I'll be more than happy to move out. I'm actually excited to move out right now. We've also saved up quite a bit by living with your parents. I'm sure we can find a beautiful place to live together. I'll go to the real estate agency later and start looking for a new place for us. That sounds great. I hope we find a nice place to live. Don't worry about telling my parents about it because they might get upset. It's time for us to live our own lives. I can't believe you haven't moved out after I talked to you. Why do you have to continue getting in my way? I think I'll help you guys leave by moving all your useless stuff to the yard. Once you and Ven finish work, come and collect all your belongings before we call the trash service to remove them and never bother coming back inside after you've taken your things. I don't want any of your germs anywhere near me. What did you just say? Did you really move our belongings out of the house? I didn't think you would act so quickly. You can't do that. I came home early today. I got bored staying in my apartment, so I decided to come home earlier than planned. Mom and Dad really wanted to see me and kept urging me to come home. You think a week is too long and you're telling us to move out already. Too long? A week is a long time, you know. That should be more than enough time for you to find a new place. If you still haven't found a place, then it's because you've been lazy. Although I guess it might be a difficult task for factory workers like you. Smart people like me would be able to find someone to live with immediately. You guys are just so incompetent. I've had enough. Both Ven and I take pride in the work we do. We chose to work here and we genuinely enjoy our jobs. I think you're very wrong to judge people based on where they work. Why can you decide the social standing of factory workers? It's not just my opinion. It's the truth. As a future parent, I have to protect my child from fools like you and my brother. I don't want to raise a child with bad influences like you around. I'll be shocked if my child ends up being a factory worker like you. What did you just say? Can you even realize what you're saying? I explained why you need to leave the house. Hurry up and come get all your things. I've been kind enough to pile them up neatly for you. All you have to do is pick them up and move them to your new place. Easy enough, right? Even fools like you should be able to do it. Where do you want us to move all our belongings once we collect them? My husband and I haven't even decided on a new place. Why would I care where you'd take your things? 
Go live in the park or somewhere if you still haven't found a place to live after all that time. By the way, I think this part might actually suit you guys. There might be a bunch of dirty homeless people like you. You two would fit right in. As long as you're not near me, I don't care where you live. It seems like you really want us out of the house. Fine. Today, we'll move out. You finally understand. I'm grateful for that. Regardless, I can't stand living with someone like you. I feel exhausted and disappointed just talking to you like this. Anyway, we've planned to complete the contract for the new place by the end of this weekend. We'll find a hotel in town until we can move to the new place. I hope you found a new place to move to. I bet you're moving to some old rundown apartment. Why do you think we would move to a place like that? We plan to move to a high-rise condominium that we've been dreaming of for a long time. Why would we settle for a rundown apartment when we have the money? What did you just say? Are you delusional? We've been considering buying a house with a large garden, but both of us aren't really fond of insects or gardening. That's why we decided to buy a high-rise condo with a truly beautiful view. Ven really loves the apartment scenery when we went to see it. We didn't hesitate to buy that apartment. Wait a minute, what are you talking about? Why are you joking about getting a high-rise apartment? Do you know how expensive they are? You don't know that the second floor of a building doesn't count as a high-rise condo. We plan to move to a 30th floor apartment in the city center. Do you think I can call it a high-rise condo? What did you say? The 30th floor? You must be lying. I know you're very poor. How can you and Ven afford a place like that? You're just factory workers. Your wages are basically minimum wage. I'll tell you, stop making assumptions. Both Ven and I receive fair wages for full-time work. Ven has been promoted multiple times and is currently a manager at the factory he works for. He earns much more than enough to support the family, but I enjoy my job and work full-time too. I think together we make more money than an average family. Since when did he become a factory manager? My brother Ven is a manager? I can't believe it. Are you tricking me? It's been a while. It's not like he owns the company. He was asked by the owner to oversee one of the factories as a manager. He's paid a high salary compared to a regular factory worker. That's why we can afford to move to a high-rise condo. You must be lying to me. I've never heard anything like that from my parents. They told me that both you and Ven are just factory workers. I think you only pay half of the living expenses when staying at my parents' house. Isn't it because you can't afford to pay rent for them? We've never talked about our jobs with your parents. Ven and I work at the same place, so we decided not to mention our jobs at home. I don't think we should pay more than half of the living expenses just because we make more money. Besides, I've done most of the household chores, so I don't think we have an obligation to pay rent. Your parents told us from the beginning to only pay half of the living expenses, so we followed them, and I think it's fair. You lied to my parents! Say whatever you want. We're moving out soon, and we won't talk to you anymore. We'll come and get our things after we finish work. I have to go back to work now. Goodbye. Sorry for making you wait. I just cut ties with my parents, so I'll come to meet you. I'm quite tired, so let's go out for dinner tonight. No problem at all. Are you okay? Did your parents or Ciara say anything to you? They're being dramatic and saying meaningless things, so I'm ignoring everything they say to me. You don't have to talk to them anymore, Sarah. They're crazy people that we don't need to deal with. You can block all of them. It's best not to care. All right. I'll do that right away. Are you really okay completely cutting off ties with your family? Yes, I'm fine with it. You don't have to worry about everything. I wish my parents loved me a little more, but that's almost impossible. I've always known that they only care about my little sister, and I realize that I can't do anything to change that. I'm always here for you, and we love each other, so we don't need a family anymore. As long as you don't have any regrets. My parents might try to contact me again after my sister leaves the house, but I'm sure I'll ignore them during this time. I'm tired of being part of that family. It's time for us to leave this house. Today, let's go eat something delicious to celebrate the beginning of a new chapter in our lives. Finally, you're free from your toxic family, and we're about to move to our dream home. We can have anything you want to eat, and I'll pay for dinner tonight? 
Are you sure? Thank you so much. No worries at all. You've had a difficult day today. I'll meet you at the station and we can grab a drink before heading out for dinner. I need your help right now. Please respond to me. It's an emergency. Ven is ignoring me, so you're the only one I can ask for help. What do you want from me? Why are you suddenly reaching out? We've already left the house as you wanted. We listened to your demands, so please stop involving us in your life. We don't want any connection with you or that house anymore. I'm truly sorry for what I said earlier. I sincerely regret it, and I'll apologize to you later. Could you please just listen to what I have to say now? I'm currently in a really difficult situation, but I can't share it with anyone. You're the only one who can help me at this moment, Sarah. Please help me. What's going on with you? Can you hurry up and let me know what the problem is? I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, let me explain. I finally gave birth to a baby last week. He's a healthy boy and weighs nearly eight pound. Congratulations on that. What's the issue? Sounds like good news. Yes, but I still haven't told you the bad news. The baby has fair skin. What do you mean? Are you talking about having light skin? That's exactly what I'm saying. And he also has blonde hair. There's no way I can show my husband this baby. Why? Aren't you the one who gave birth to that baby? You can't determine skin color just by looking at it. Maybe it's a recessive gene that you didn't know existed in both of your families. No, it would be better if that were the case, but no. Or are you telling me that you know exactly the explanation for what's happening? I guess there's another man involved? Someone with blonde hair? Yes, essentially that's what happened. I genuinely thought the baby was my husband's. I only slept with that guy once when I was heavily intoxicated. I never thought something like this could happen. I can't do anything in this situation. I won't do anything to help you get out of this mess. Please stop involving me in your issues. This only happened because of what you did, so you need to take responsibility for it. Don't be so heartless. Your sister-in-law is in trouble. You need to help me. Don't just ignore me and do something to assist me. You know, we're practically like a family. I really can't do anything to help you. There must be something you can do to assist. That's something only you can do. What is it? I want to give my child to you. So, I'm begging you to take this child and raise him as your own. Are you insane? That's impossible. You and Ven don't have children, right? I thought it would be a perfect gift for you. You must be pretty bored being trapped in the factory every day and you mentioned having the blonde hair gene. Well, we have that too. My child would fit right in with you. Stop talking nonsense. I can't believe what you're asking. What's wrong with you? Don't you have any morals? What you're suggesting is horrifying in so many ways. But there's no other way to solve this without getting myself into trouble. I can't let my husband know about any of this. I can't just abandon my own child somewhere and forget about it. You said you have a good salary and some financial freedom. The living expenses for a child wouldn't be that much. How many times do I have to tell you? It has nothing to do with us and your issues. If you don't tell your husband the truth, we will do it for you. Ven is right here ready to contact your husband right now. What did you just say? Please don't contact my husband, I beg you. He's already stressed because of his business trip. So please don't say anything that could make him even more tense. I don't want that to happen. It's too late for that. Your husband is coming back right now. It seems like you can handle this on your own. I'm glad everything will be resolved quickly. Wait, is he really coming to talk to me? I hope you can figure things out. Ven and I have cut ties with all of you, so please don't contact us anymore. I have to go now. Goodbye, Kiara. We left the house and have no contact with Kiara or her parents. Despite Ciara's continuous pleas, we still let her husband know the truth. He immediately returned home. Once he confirmed that the child was not his child, he was furious. Eventually, they got divorced. The child's father also refused to accept the baby and only provided a small amount of money for Kiara to support the child. Sierra's parents were very disappointed in their daughter, and they regretted mistreating Ven. They came to our place to apologize and seek our forgiveness, but we didn't accept their apology, and of course, we didn't forgive them.